Playoff pick um bum, 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 bum. You too, Bozzik. Going the goat house is back bum, with bum, divisional bum, 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 round bum, bum, pick'ems. Yes, bum. that's right. We're every single week making the picks, going through all four matchups this week. We'll be here for the Super Bowl. We'll be here for free agency, the NFL draft. What about the offseason? There is no offseason. We're, we're here. We're here. We got the no action. Off season. We got the action. Before we get started, got to give a big shout out to Miss Victoria and BLC1175, that classroom. Been watching our videos for a real long time. They actually make the picks with us every single week. So once I saw that, uh, brought a big smile to my face. So I really appreciate the support. You guys have been uh, with us for a long time. Keep making those picks. Hopefully everyone else out there joins them. Make the picks along with us. Really appreciate it. Real cool to see. So show your love in the comments for them. Leaderboard. Twos. Twos. All across the board. We all got two. Two, 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 22, 22. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't even know what commercial that is. It's, it's, like it's a Glenn, commercial. Glenn it's Warner, one of them. Something yeah, like somewhere. That. Some kind of lawyer. It's one of those. It's catchy. Yeah. Uh, we actually have a picks league. There's a confidence involved in that. You set your confidence. Jalen Joe is leading that. He's got eight points with the confidence, so that means he got three right last week. Fantastic job in the wild card week. Let's see if he can keep it up, see if anybody can catch him. 40K, that's our subscriber goal. And we actually have a new channel, the Goat House Plus. So we got two channels now. You're going to want to subscribe to both. Some different type of content on there. Uh, and if anything ever happens to one of the channels, we always have the backup one. So you got to subscribe to both. Really would appreciate it. There's our Twitter on the top left. Also a link in the description at Goathouse NFL. Constantly talking football on there. Got you covered a lot during live games. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and subscribe. That'll help us out a bunch. We're going to the first game Vikings, Niners. First game. What a game. What a game. Let's get the boys up on the screen here. Junior's not here with us today, but don't worry. I got his picks. Should I have Junior go first? Should I make his pick for him first? I mean, he sent me his picks. but Well, if I'm Junior, I think I know who I'm going with. Who are you going with? I think Junior's going with the... You don't know. Who's I don't know. He's going with the 49ers. He's going with the Vikings. I don't, really? have, an, I don't have an explanation, but he's, wow. going, with, he's going with the Vikings. Um, wow. Wow. All right, who wants to go next? Jeez, stout defense, stout defensive game. I'm yeah. taking the Niners though. You're taking the Niners. If this was at, if this was home for Minnesota, I would definitely consider it. But uh, um, gotta hop on that 49er bandwagon. Finally, finally, this might be their the wrong doing though. They, this might be the uh, the fall off for them since I'm choosing them. So apologies, 49ers. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I no, I felt like I was saying that last time I picked them because I never picked them, and then I did, and they actually won the last game of the season. And got that first cut, that first seed, um, the bye week, home field advantage. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Niners just because of that home field advantage as well. I think it'll be a really close game though. Yeah, I'm back and forth on this one. I don't like that it's you know it's only a short week by one day, but it's a short week for the Vikings. You know, wish it was on Sunday. Um, you know, there was the concerns about them being consistent away. Can they win multiple games in a row? Playoff caliber game. Well, these are the playoffs, but can they win the big games in a row away? So that's kind of the challenge here. Um, you know, yeah, back and forth. You know, a big weakness for the Vikings is uh, a really good pass rush. The Niners do have a really good pass rush, uh, but you couldn't. I think you could run on the on the Niners. The Vikings have one of the better running teams in football. Uh, you also, you know, the Niners kind of get fooled by the play action too. So the Vikings have that going for them. So you kind of can see it's kind of back and forth here. Um, you know, what I'm looking at here, I'm looking at. I think. Most of the year, the Niners were the best defense. You know, I think recently the Vikings might have the best defense in football. They are getting turnovers like crazy, uh, and that could be the difference in this game. You know, I, th I think the team that gets more turnovers could win the game. I think the Vikings could be that. Um, and you know, a, a reason for the Vikings, you know, against the Saints, you know, I was saying was find what the Falcons did against the Saints. You know, find what they did because somehow the Saints struggle with the Falcons, and it's almost like the same situation here. The Falcons was a team that the Niners struggled with. So kind of find that same, um, you know, mismatch they have there. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of back and forth. I got to go. I'm going to go with the Vikings. I got to do it. I'm going with my team. Can I establish something right here? Establish it. Riz and I were talking off off screen here. And uh, as I'm sure most of you are aware, Riz is a big Vikings fan. And uh, he did say, and we're going to get it on paper, that if the Vikings win the Super Bowl, he's going to get a Viking. Was it a sleeve or just a tattoo? A whole sleeve. You're going to get a whole sleeve of the Vikings Super Bowl. Yeah. Will Kirk Cousins be on the... Uh, Kirk Cousins will be manning the ship. Okay. There's going to be a ship involved. A Viking ship? Yeah. You have this entire thing planned. I don't have it drawn up, but I have it planned. But with that being said, I do not expect them to win the Super Bowl this year. The sixth seed to win the Super Bowl, 
they might they may very well lose this game. I'm picking them because I kind of like the matchup, but the Niners are a great team this year. Kind of going back, I've been talking a lot about the matchup. I think George Kittle could be a problem with the Vikings. You know, that could be the key right there. I know they're getting a lot of guys back on defense, but I think the key could be, you know, getting those points in offense. You know, you got to stay consistent. Uh, I think but, they should use uh, <clears throat> they should use Curse, and I don't know why they don't want to use them, but I think they should use Jalen Curse on Jalen Curse. I think they will. Yeah, I think they're going to use him a little more. They use Sandeo last. I think it just depends on the matchup, but that defense is is heating up again. I don't know what's gotten into them the last you know five weeks. Uh, you know, the last five weeks have been. I think they got somewhere around eighteen turnovers. It's ridiculous. So let's see if they can keep it up. Um, whatever you know, Jimmy G versus Kirk Cousins. One of them is going to the NFC Championship game. Pretty crazy. Uh, but both very capable, I guess, as they've proven recently. So we'll see. One of them is going to go. Whoever turns the ball over more, probably not going to go. And that's kind of my thinking here. But Niners have been a hell of a team this year. So it, for the score predictions, how about we have one of these guys do it because everyone knows I'm a Vikings fan. So the score predictions on YouTube will have uh, somebody else do it. I think that's I think that's fair because people, people aren't going to be happy with me probably. But Well, I'm really pulling for a Vikings tattoo this year, but I'm taking the 49ers. Yeah, I, don't so. think they're, I want that on record saying I don't, I don't think they're going to win at all. I okay. Don't, you but you're riding your team. That's that's cool. Yeah, man. yeah, I'm yeah. Cool with that. I picked against them last week, so I probably should be picking against them this week too. But uh, speaking of riding your team, the Bears are out of the playoffs. I have oh, no team to ride here. No. Oh, the Titans, my other team. Oh, yeah, oh, Titans, huge Titans guy, Ravens. Um, you lost your. You're not the Titans guy anymore. You lost it after last well, week. Well, I was big about our our victory last week, and so was Junior. <laughs> junior, yeah. you want to know who he's going with? Uh, the Ravens. He's going with the Ravens. Yeah. The hottest team in football. I'm gonna take the Ravens too, because how how can you not? Okay. Oh, right. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty scared of Derrick Henry too, but I mean, I'm also scared of Lamar Jackson. So, a lot of things to be scared of. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Ravens. I think these might be the two hottest teams in football. Actually, looking at the second half of the year, um, two teams that are gonna run the you know what out of the ball. Uh, so, which will run the clock and create maybe less scoring than you expect. Uh, but still a more of an offensive game. It's I've been saying this all year from some for some teams that played the Ravens. It's almost a better thing if you played them already, you know, and take took that loss in the regular season. Um, you know, you know what to expect then. You know, going in against the Ravens the, for the first time is going to be pretty rough. Titans are a heck of a team, um, but yeah, kind of looking at the Patriots. You know, the Ravens have that equally as good defense, but uh, you know, way better offense. Titans will have a different game plan and definitely could have more offense in this game. But, I mean, we're talking about the best team in football right now. So we'll see if Lamar's ready for the playoffs. We'll see if Ryan Daniels ready for round two because he's going to need to be. He's going to need to throw a little better. Um, can't rely on Derrick Henry too much, which I believe in him. I think he will be better in this game, Ryan Tannehill, that is. So we'll see. It should be a good game. Uh, they can get A.J. Brown going a little more too. So I, I think it'll be closer than people think, but I got to go with the Ravens. Yeah, I got to keep riding my team here. So get, me, gotta over, love it. get me over there. I respect it. Thanks. Um couple things couple things here um just i mean you already talked about last there <clears throat> Tannehill needs to definitely step it up this week made some key throws but definitely made some big mistakes had two fumbles fortunately we got him back um threw a terrible interception i never seen never seen him do that this year i don't know what that was but hopefully um it was just that patriots defense i think they're kind of weird it seemed like their game plan was to almost stopped the play action pass instead of stopping the run. They just let Derrick Henry run loose and were worried about the pass. But a um, couple things here, uh, <clears throat> kind of interesting. Dean Pease is our defense, is the Titans defensive coordinator. He was a defense coordinator for the Ravens. Um, obviously wasn't there when Lamar was there, but um, what what's interesting is uh, he was a defense coordinator for the Ravens back when they were in the Super Bowl, and Greg Roman was the – San Francisco offensive coordinator in the Super Bowl when they played each other. So mm. Dean Pease had to uh, strategize against his offense, knows how to beat that offense. Um, and I think they'll have a good game plan. Him and Vrabel will have a good game plan, but really it just depends on if they can execute really the the simple things like tackling Lamar Jackson, not missing tackles, not missing assignments. Is not it that getting simple, juked though? Out of your jock it's strap. pretty simple, honestly. Yeah, you like, just don't get juked out of your jock strap. That, I know. It's, it sounds it's, simple, it, it but sounds it's really simple, not. It's not, though, yeah. Okay. Offense needs to step it up for sure. Another thing, too, I want to mention, um, Ray Lewis murdered that guy. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not wrong. I'm uh, not wrong. <laughs> if we get That's, suspended, we know whose fault it is. Hey, hey, I was just joking with that one. All right. No jokes on YouTube. Other, thing I, other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, last week, 
Titans were talking about after the game, they're talking about the Patriots gave a lot of bull. <laughs> yeah, you guys like that? Threw that one in there? I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, but it probably, I was I was scrolling. I was, I was all right. I was scrolling through Twitter. Wait, and, make sure you follow the Golden House Plus in case right. we get suspended. What, what do you have for lunch, though? Me? Yeah. <laughs> what is? What kind of question? We're going is through that? your itinerary over no, here. <laughs> no, no, no. I was scrolling through Twitter and this Titans fan club just tweeted that randomly. I just thought it was hilarious. But all right. Anyways, you should have taken the credit and you blew it. No, nope. yeah, you blew it. No, nope. I'm just trying to say it's not my fault. There. Will uh, you get on with it already? All right. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Are, you guys are making it long and nasty. All right. Patriots gave us a lot of bulletin board material last week. Tom Brady posting stuff about we're hyenas and they're lions and they're going to kill us. I don't know what he was talking about. And you can't say those words here. Please. What? <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> Ignore them. Yeah, what is what is going on? <laughs> um, and Van Noy's talking about a revenge tour over there. I don't know what he's talking about. Now Earl Thomas over here is saying that they weren't in, the Patriots weren't interested in tackling Derrick Henry. Let's give you a different story this game. He's talking about... If Tannehill tries to pass on us, I don't think it's going to go in their favor. Giving us, giving them bulletin board material, it's not going to be. I think it's going to bite them in, right. the, in the rear end. There you go. Oh, there you See, go. I got to clean it up. All right, move on. Moving on. That's all I have. Well, love it, Pete. It's about time, Pete. I love the belief. Hey, uh, you're talking a lot about Texans it. Chiefs rematch. Texans won the first one. They won it. Will they win the second one? Junior, what does he have to say? He says. No, the Chiefs will win it. He thinks oh, the Chiefs got it. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Well, I agree with Junior over there. You're going to go ahead and agree. Yeah. It's tough to, tough to beat a team twice in one year. They did beat them earlier in the year. I think the Chiefs' defense has gotten a lot better. Um, I don't think the Texans have gotten better, though. I don't think so either. Ooh. I'm taking the Chiefs as well. He's taking the Chiefs. The, confidence is, the confidences are hard to pick in these games, but this is this is the highest one for me. You got, the, you got the four on this one? Yes. I got the four on this one as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Chiefs. Uh, yeah, last time they played, the Chiefs are healthier, and their defense has gotten better. We'll see how it is you know, without Juan Thornhill. Uh, I think they can survive without him. He was looking pretty good, but he's a rookie. Uh, you know, I think they'll be okay. You know, The Pat, Frank Clark, pass rush, they're all coming along. Um, Tyron Matthew playing better than ever down the stretch. Really the only concern is corner, maybe a linebacker, but they can get away with their current core. Uh Spagnuolo is a hell of a coach. Uh so I, I like the Chiefs and you know they're going I think they're getting Damian Williams involved in the right way, more involved in the right way. Um and the Texans I I can't see them going any further and it's mainly cuz of, you know, Bill O'Brien, really, you know. They almost shouldn't have moved on from last round because of it, but I mean Deshaun Watson, I mean that guy, I mean he's a winner. He's a winner. Uh, and then if Will Fuller's on the field, of course they're they're even better at Will Fuller. Uh, you know, one of the fast, you know, Tyree Hill versus Will Fuller should be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, the Texans definitely have a shot. Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, Will Fuller, they have a shot. Uh, it's really on Bill O'Brien. It's really on Bill O'Brien, and they got to get pressure on defense. You know, solid defense, not the best. Um, I think it's a pretty even matchup. You know, you got two offensive teams, defenses that you know maybe are better than people expected, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's mainly on the offenses here, but I gotta go with the Chiefs. I know I know the Texans beat them, but it means very little at this point when their pl- teams are playing, and that goes for every team that's playing a rematch. You know, uh, it, it doesn't mean much. You know, so I like the Chiefs here at home. Could be interesting though. We'll see. We didn't spend too much time on that one. Pete didn't have anything for us on that. <laughs> I one. I gave you some stuff. You know, I gotta. He's got. I had all. I had, I'm the Titans insider. Seahawks and the Packers, the last <laughs> game. Of Pete, you got any spank bang stuff for this one? No. No. Okay. Uh. Well, I do. I'll. I'll give you a little something. Okay. Well, let me give you Junior's pick first. Well, okay. Junior's going with the Packers. Hate those guys. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. I'm just kidding. Uh. Oh, the Seahawks road dogs over there. Eight and one this year on the road. So what are you trying Impressive. to do? Impressive. Very impressive, but I'm gonna go with the Packers at home. Okay. It's a little diff. I know it's a little different though. Lambo. That was kind of that was my trick you pulled out. There. Oh, yeah. It's usually your thing. Like, oh, the Seahawks are good at this. Yeah, They're usually you kind of talk to one this. team and then that oh, go I'm go the that's my trick. Kind of keep the, the fans on their um, toes there. I think I think their offense is too one dimensional right now with Russell Wilson, Lockett, and and decaf. Metcalf? Metcalf. Oh, Metcalf. Would you look at the kid go? I yeah. mean, he had himself a day against the Eagles last yeah. week. But, I mean, this isn't the Eagles' secondary, though. I would like nothing more than the Seahawks to win this game. I am taking the Packers, but I'm going to be rooting hard for those Seahawks. This is the Cleet Blake- Blakeman Bowl. Cleet 
Cleet Blakeman Bowl. That was hard to say. Cleet Blakeman. Blakeman. That's that's the official of this game, the one that um, famously known for that Packers Lions game earlier in the year. The NFL decided to give Cleet Blakeman back to the Packers. Interesting. Interesting. Is it to help the Packers furthermore? Is it to redeem himself and maybe blow a call? Blow a call <laughs> so he looks better, I or is it we'll just mean out. nothing at all? I and guess just, we'll find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. It could Sunday be nights. any of those. Can you imagine if there was like another blown call? That went the with the same way. guy. With the yeah. same guy. It's gonna. Oh, it's out. gonna be bad. Get him out. It's yeah. gonna be real bad. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know what their angle is there. Most likely nothing, but uh, it's it's it is interesting, you know, because they they have to see that. They have to see that. So it's interesting. Uh, but I don't think officials will decide this game. You know, they're usually pretty good at. Um, you know, there was a couple calls maybe last week, but for the most part, they let they let the kids play. You know, that's what I like. It's not not as bad, or I hope it's not as bad as the regular season. So I think the better team in this moment, <clears throat> this game, will win. And looking at these two teams, uh, Russell Wilson may be the best passer in football right now, best passer this year, you know, right there at Mahomes. Uh, you know, if he was healthy, you can argue him. But Russell Wilson could beat anybody at any time. DK Metcalf getting better. They could be getting healthier. You know, obviously Chris Carson's not a guy that's going to be coming back. That's unfortunate. Uh, you look at the Packers, defense, much, much improved this year. Offense, that's kind of where people's worries are at, you know, their offense. But it would not if, – if we fast forward past this game and you told me that Rodgers had a, a, you know, a classic Rodgers game, they put up this, you know, 400 yards and offense, whatever it may be, and they scored this many points, I wouldn't be shocked, really. I wouldn't be – I know a lot of people probably would be. I wouldn't be shocked. I'm not saying that's going to happen. Uh, but looking at the exact matchup, the specific matchup here, yeah, uh, Pigskin kind of talked about it. The Seahawks are pretty one-dimensional. The Packers will do a very good job of game planning for the pass. They have a good pass rusher, uh, the pass rush unit, I should say, um, from the inside, from the outside. Those guys will do their job, get after the quarterback, and they're not going to sack Russell Wilson a bunch of times, but they can throw him off a little bit, not saying he's going to play bad or anything. Uh, and then they'll probably use five defensive backs. Uh, it, they'll do a great job of game planning for the pass, as they should, and that will be the difference here uh, since the Seahawks are you know, one-dimensional. But – the good thing is they could win because they have Russell Wilson. It doesn't really matter that you're one-dimensional. But Packers at home in Lambeau, being able to game plan defensively and having the talent to do so uh, definitely gives the edge to the Packers there. So all four of us, I'm surprised all four of us here, but all four of us did go with the Green Bay Packers. We sure did. Yeah, we did it. We did it. It's just these videos are too short now. It's That's not, why I had to lengthen it up. It's you know, not the regular season anymore. Got score predictions coming out. We got all kinds of predictions coming out. We're already starting to talk about the NFL draft and the free agency. Already have a recent two round mock draft up. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Please subscribe to both channels. We got two channels. Link in the description and the comments on every single video. Pretty appreciated. I mean, if, if you could subscribe to both uh, and then to our Twitter too uh, at Goat House NFL. Link in the description. We would really appreciate it. It's going to do it for this one, though. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.